five and when they had the um, the little uh, what do you call it uh, uh, child show you know what cartoon of the Michael Jackson and the Jacksons my children would stay at the TV they knew all his songs by heart and we watched him grow I wish they had the screen so I could show you his growth at 10 he was black with a black face kinky hair broad nose thick lips somebody told Michael he was ugly somebody told my brother he wasn't good looking somebody told you the same thing so you begin to hate the way God made you but you don't have no money to fix it <laughs> so as brother Michael began to get a little money he began to try and fix things well, I read something. Uh, he, um, he had about six nose jobs. Uh, he had um, oh, a lot of stuff done. He had money. And he was working on himself. I had a conversation with brother. He said to me, he said, Minister, they always made us see black people as ugly people in the jungles of Africa. Listen to his words to me. He said, but then I began to study and I saw that some of these great Egyptian pharaohs, they were beautiful people. He said, and so I went, he said, to my friend Spielberg and David Geffen and others, and I asked them, would they help me to produce a movie on the lives of Africans to show black people how really beautiful we are and were. He said they turned him down and he said he decided he would do it himself. It was Hollywood whose first movie, what was the first movie? The Birth of a nation. How did it portray us? And how has Hollywood portrayed us? And who were the Hollywood moguls that portrayed us like that? Am I anti-Semitic or are they anti-black? history and they wanted to keep our history from us so that we would never be inspired to rise above what they had portrayed us as I didn't write no book called Little Black Sambo somebody wrote it for me to read I'm not anti-Semitic, but they were anti-black. Yeah. 
as Michael grew, he began to change. He fixed his nose, he fixed his chin, he took some of the fat out of his jaws, and later on, you know, he contracted or contacted this skin disease called vitiligo. They say it first appeared on his hand, and that's why he started wearing the glove. As you know,